production of Frosted Flakes, Fruit Loops, and Corn Flakes hangs in the balance tonight after workers at all of the Kellogg Company's U.S. cereal plants walked off the job this week. Daniel Osborne is president of the local union in Omaha. I'm blown away. I, I really didn't see it coming. He, along with roughly 1,400 workers across four plants in Nebraska, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Tennessee, are now on strike amid a more than year-long negotiation. The biggest sticking point right now is their two-tier wage system. As a lower-tier employee, uh, they get about 11 or $12 an hour less. They have higher insurance premiums, less vacation. What we want to see is equalization to pay for everybody there. The union and cereal company are deadlocked over issues concerning pay and benefits, specifically health care and retirement, among others. Workers also concerned about the possibility of their jobs moving overseas, reaching what they say is a breaking point. They stated that they're prepared to uh, move our North American plants down to Mexico uh, and South America. We cannot have our food being made where there's no FDA or OSHA oversight, right? I'm not feeding that to my children. Kellogg denies these allegations. A spokesperson telling NBC News in a statement, quote, the company has not proposed moving any RTEC volume or jobs outside of the U.S. as part of these negotiations. The spokesperson also writing, we are disappointed by the union's decision to strike and maintaining that most workers involved in the dispute made an average of $120,000 last year and that Kellogg's current offer includes pay and benefits increases for employees. How long before this ends? I could say it's going to last two weeks. I could say it's going to last two years. The bottom line is, is, is we don't know. Uh, we're going to stand fast. Uh, as long as it takes. For now, Kellogg says they're implementing contingency plans to keep their cereals on shelves for customers as the standoff with workers continues. All right, so let's talk about that right now. Priscilla joins us now on set. Priscilla, two questions. One, how are they going to get workers when it's already hard to find workers all across America? And two, are people not going to have their cereal at their grocery stores? Yeah, that's the big question. And Kellogg says that they are going to be relying more heavily on their salaried workers and also working with third party uh, resources to bring in additional workers who will likely be non-union workers for the time being. But those efforts should prevent any sort of supply chain issues. So folks should still be able to get the cereal on their tables in the morning. OK, we hope so. All right, Priscilla, thank you so much for that story. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.